Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, oops, I don't see you. The bus is coming. No, we're not getting there. No, no, no. Thank you. Hey guys. <laughs> Fast food places. And you know, I don't even know what I'm saying. Look, I'm gonna record you through the intro. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys five cheap places where you guys can go eat for very cheap and the food is actually good. Why? Because I want you guys to save your coins. We all gotta save our coins, especially here in Miami. Our environment, we're struggling here. We have a harsh environment. Like that guy. <laughs> So, you know, we gotta save our coins. And of course, you can just get a McDonald's McChicken for a dollar and like a coffee, iced coffee for a dollar. But, better what quality. Say, what's my reasoning for that? Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. I don't know if it's gonna be here, but <laughs> <laughs> make sure you subscribe and click the little bell so you get notifications whenever I post new videos. And yeah, if you didn't watch my last video, it was about the top five places that are overhyped here in Miami. And we spilled the tea. Me and Janelle here, we spilled the tea. Oh, by the way, I'm doing the video with Janelle, but you can't, you can't see her now because she's recording. All right, let's go. The we'll show place, you guys yes. where we're going. We're going to... So we're here in Little Havana. This is Flagless Street. Where, ooh, that lighting though. Now we're here in Arroyito Cafe. They it's have a Cuban food. They have, yeah, it's Cuban food, but they have a student breakfast for like, how much? How much is it? Two, two something. For $2.50 or so, around there. And it's really good because it brings a lot. It brings eggs, um, tostada, and a coffee. So it's pretty good for the price. And here's Arroyito Cafe. Look. Right. Opening moment. <laughs> okay, fail. Here's Janelle. She's gonna do her homework because she's such a scholar. She has class in an hour. Mm -hmm. So we gotta hurry up doing this video. I can't do it, it's really hard. So for those who don't know, you have to dip your tostada in café con leche. It's really hard. It's sweet to, coffee. I have to put it, yeah. yeah. So I like it. My mom and dad She puts her tostada in the coffee, but I don't do it because I don't like that. <laughs> like, I eat my tostada by itself. So you can also eat it by itself because it has oil. No, so, mantequilla. Mantequilla. Oil. <laughs> they put cuba, they actually put oil. That's oh my the god. Real way. Whatever. It tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bon appetit. <laughs> All this for just $2.50. So now we're here in Brickle because we are gonna go to our second place. Pepito's Brickle Plaza for some Venezuelan. for some Venezuelan food. Wow. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. And then this thing, Harritos. Am I a food guru yet? Yeah. Okay, go. His first impression of a of an arepa pepiada. It looks so good. So one to ten, how do you like it? So this place is a little bit more expensive because it's in Brickle, so the location already makes it expensive. Also, Honestly, you pay that at McDonald's. <laughs> so, this place is definitely a little bit more expensive. It's not super cheap, but you do get your money's worth. Because I just ate this whole entire thing, and I'm so full right now. And it was just one arepa, and I'm so full. So, if you're one of those people that and get the, the munchies, you can come here because it's open 24 hours. They have a lot of options. They have burgers, arepa. Yeah, they have everything. Banana. So, if you want to try this place out, you can come try it out. It's, I think it's a good choice to come if you have $9 and you want to spend them on food.
so we're here at the Honduran place because we're gonna get some baleadas. This place is called Cafeteria Dos Caribe. And the baleadas here are pretty cheap. They have a lot of other options in the menu that are pretty cheap and they're pretty big. What does the baleada have inside? It's tortilla de harina with frijoles, crema, and queso. I'm not Honduran. We're, we're just here. We're not Honduran, it's... we're just here. Yeah. Here we have some juice. Jugo de piña. Jugo de piña. Cheers. The balea sencilla here is two dollars, only two dollars. And obviously, if you want to add carne, aguacate, chorizo, eggs, it gets more expensive. If you if you're not gonna spend your money, just get the balea for the two dollars, and that's it. Yeah, la balea sencilla. So guys, don't forget check the description box. Follow him on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Yes. What is TikTok? <laughs> you never seen the ads for TikTok? No. It's like people singing. It's <laughs> so guys, if you guys want to check these places out for yourselves, I'm going to be leaving the information. information down in the description below. Okay? So you guys can check it out if you guys want. Gracias. Gracias. So this is what a baleada looks like. It's, yeah, I already explained what it is. But. I'm giving you guys a lot of variety so you guys can try different things if you guys are Honduran or if you guys are Cuban, Cuban Venezuelan. or Venezuelan whatever you guys are even if you're not and you still want to try things from that country you can come here and try it for cheap that's why I'm giving you guys like different options so you guys don't like think it's all like so the if you same ever come here you don't need the same type of food exactly because we have a lot of cultures here in Miami we have a lot of cultures here in Miami so it's good to try different things from different Enjoy. cultures <laughs> I'm here at and no Siglo supermarket and this is a supermarket so you wouldn't really expect it to be a restaurant here well, but, it's a cafeteria, but oh yeah it's a cafeteria so they have food here they have the special here for 4.59 you get arroz, frijoles, maduros and yuca the places that you least expect are the ones that are really good like this one like so you have to look you have to look in the local places exactly because the the mainstream places the popular places those are usually going to be overpriced and or not that good. And, and not you're like, going to get a little bit of food and here you're going to see how much we're going to get exactly $100. you got to look locally yeah. throw a little bachata for your <laughs> Oh my god, the lady. Oh my god. Bon apple feet, sis. <laughs> Alright, so all this for six dollars. No, it's a fucking car. And now to end the video, I have one more place here. It's called Miami River Mexican Cuisine. They have dollar tacos on Wednesdays. But be careful because it gets really packed. Comment below if you go to any of these places and what you thought about it. And also, if you know of any other places, let me know in the comments below because I would love to go try them. Three tacos for three dollars. <laughs> By the way, this is called Jamaica. It was really good. If you like hibiscus. It was $2.50. Overall, I spent $5.50 plus taxes because we're in America. But also, the tacos were really good and I recommend this place 100%, 10 out of 10. Just try to come in, just try to come in earlier. I'm a burp. <laughs> so, whoa. end of video. This is how I'm ending my night with my friends. So, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and Leave yeah. Suggestions Leave suggestions in the comment section. You wanna say hi to my vlog? <laughs> <laughs>